Before we get started, I just want to take a minute to remind everybody how special each and every one of you is. You're a unique beauty, unlike any other, and I love you. Good evening, my darling. My servant told me that someone from the village came by to have a word with me. I believe he was talking about you. To be honest, I almost didn't believe him. But then I... Then I felt your presence. You see, no one ever comes to pay me a visit. Oh yes, you're the first one. Tell me, did you hear the rumors about me? About what I am and what I can do? Yes. And yet, <laughs> here you are. How amusing. You were hoping that the rumors were true. What a bold person you are. Never in all my years walking on this earth did I expect a single soul to say something like this to me. No, I'm, I'm shocked. <laughs> Truly shocked. Well... What would you do if I said that the rumors are indeed true? You'd ask me for a favor. How curious. In this case, yes, the rumors are true. I am a creature of the night. A beast that feeds on other people's blood. An undead. A vampire. Oh, I can hear your heart beating faster. Are you afraid, my dear? You're excited? Really? And why would you be excited? No one with a sane mind would come running to my castle like you did, you know? Things like that have never happened before. Ah, of course, the favor. Tell me, what can I do for you, my dear? I see. You have a very rare sickness and the village's doctor said you only have a few months to live. I am a very old and wise person, but I'm afraid I... I don't have a cure for your problem, if that's what you're seeking. I do have a cure? What are you talking about, may I ask? Wait. No. No, it, it can't be. Do you, do you want me to turn you into a vampire? Is that what you're saying, my dear? Oh, heavens, if you came all the way here to ask that of me, you must really be determined. But I can't do that. No, I'm sorry. You must understand. I am immortal and almost nothing can hurt me. It's almost impossible to kill me, I would dare say. But my existence is not easy in the slightest. I am always craving blood. There's no limit to my thirst. Ah, I have to deal with the pain that it is to live alone. I only have my servant and he is going to die of old age in a few years. I, I don't interact with humans often because they can feel my darkness. Every creature alive can sense how dangerous I am. I don't even interact with other vampires because most of them are vicious and disgustingly cruel. I may be a being of the night, but I do try my best not to harm any humans. I drink from the animals of the forest and if I could, I wouldn't even drink from them. 
the last time I tried to die by starvation, I, I lost control of myself and killed an entire village. When I came to my senses, I cursed myself and promised to never be this irresponsible again. Do you really think you can deal with this kind of curse, my dear? No, oh, I, I know you're scared. Death is something unknown, and humans tend to be scared of the things that they don't understand. But the beauty of life is in the fact that, sooner or later, it will come to an end. <laughs> you don't agree with me. Right, I see. Of course, you're allowed to have your own opinions. But, can you tell me why you think the way that you do? I would like to try and understand your point of view. You're right. You are quite young. Too young to see your life fade in such a terrible way. Ah, yes, indeed. You didn't get to experience a lot in your short life. I should have known that someone such as yourself would want to learn, to travel and enjoy all the things this world has to offer. And you didn't find love yet. I'm surprised for someone as beautiful as you to not have a lover. Can, can I ask why? <laughs> well, you're right. The village is pretty small, and I imagine you and the other people don't have a lot of options. So no one there was to your liking. I see. My dear, may I say something? Well, eternal life is no guarantee that you will find love. I've lived for thousands of years, and as I said to you, I am a lonely creature. I, too, don't have anyone to love. Well, you are a very positive human. It's true, I... Haven't found someone yet, but there's always time. I do have an eternity after all. But I'm sorry. I'm still not sure if it's a good idea to turn you into a vampire. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not hesitating because I don't want to help you. It's because I don't want to condemn you to a miserable eternity. To be honest... Sometimes I, I wish I could just die. Or I wish I could be human again and just live a simple life until time decides that I should take my last breath. I wish I could have had a peaceful death. <sighs> and once more, we don't agree. Oh, my dear... There's nothing you could offer me that would make me change my mind. And even if you could, I would never demand anything in return for this curse. It wouldn't be fair to you. Yes, of course you can. Ask me anything you want. Yes, my life is much better with my servant's company. He is a great soul and a very dear friend to me. We met each other when he was traveling in search of a rare flower. He's a lover of nature and all of its creations. I loved his enthusiasm when he talked about the things he cared of. So I joined him in his adventures and for some months of search after this, we finally found the flower. But we didn't want to part ways, so I told him the truth about what I was, and I, I thought he would run for his life when I told him, but he said he didn't care about my secret. 
He said the only thing that mattered was our sincere friendship. So he chose to stay by my side and it's been that way for these last 40 years. Were you curious about the origins of my servant, my dear? Uh, what will I do when he dies? Uh, maybe move to another castle that I own, very far away from here. Or maybe travel the world again. I'm not sure. Why are you asking that? No, I, I won't get another servant. He had to beg me to let him stay with me in the first place, and I only did it because he seemed really sad about going our separate ways. And of course, his, his friendship was precious to me. Besides, I don't think another human would want to serve me. I'm pretty sure my servant was one of a kind. <laughs> you? You want to be my servant in exchange for immortality. My dear, as I said, I don't want another servant. And I could never refer to a beautiful young person like you as a servant. So my answer is still no. Company? Well, yes, I... I'll be rather lonely when I no longer have my dear friend with me. But that's not enough to make me turn you into a monster. No, I, I know this is what you want, but what if you come to regret it? But what if you come to blame me for it? I don't want to be the cause for your eternal pain and struggles. I'm sorry if you think I'm being selfish in this. No, please... Please don't cry. Oh God, what should I do? I don't know how to console you humans. I'll... I'll get you a handkerchief. Here, just a second. My dear, what are you doing? Are you kneeling down? Please, just get up. No, I, I don't want you to beg. Just, Just get up. You'll only get up if I agree to turn you into a vampire. Heavens, just you're such a stubborn creature. Please, my dear, don't do this to me. What? How could you say something like that? I'm telling you, there's nothing good in being like me. No, I'm, I'm not keeping the good things to myself. There's no good in being a demon. Let nature decide your fate. You should make amends with your destiny and go say goodbye to the people that you love. Oh God, please don't bow down to me. You're making me feel like a cruel villain, my dear. F fine, yes, 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 all right. All right, I'll, I will turn you. Now stand up already. God, you're unbelievable completely crazy not crazy just desperate yes I, I can see that we finally agree on something it's fine my dear no I, I understand everyone tends to do crazy things when they're desperate anyway um so do you want me to do this here and now, or... I, I see. You don't know when you're gonna die, so the sooner the better. Yeah, you're right. Then if... You could just unbutton your blouse and... Expose your neck to me so I can... Bite you. Oh god, I am... So nervous. I've never turned anyone before. Yes, it it will hurt. Does that change your mind? Well, I had to make sure. Don't worry, I'm not backing down. You clearly proved to me how much you want this. 
No, I, I won't keep you as a servant. But if we could maybe be friends and get to know each other better, that would be nice. Maybe we can even form a special type of relationship. If you're willing to. No pressure, of course. <laughs> you are so straightforward. I actually quite like that. And yes, you're right. With all the time we have, we could be each other's love. I would really like that. Now, are you ready? Then, wave goodbye to your mortal life and welcome to your new eternity, my love. <sighs> your blood is delightful, as I knew it would be. Close your eyes, my dear. And when you wake up, all your pain and tiredness will be gone. For the first time in forever, I can't wait for tomorrow.